I support Move to Amend because I believe in democracy, real democracy, ruled by the people, not corporations. My name is Ricky Ott. I am one of the co-founders of Move to Amend. We launched in 2010, the day the U.S. Supreme Court dismantled free and fair elections in Citizens United. We founded Move to Amend because we were concerned that our democracy had been hijacked by corporations. We felt it was our civic duty as Americans to do something about it. Citizens United is a symptom of a weakened democracy ailing from over two centuries of judge-made law that has recognized constitutional rights for corporations. We decided that the most upstream problem that we had the ability to influence was corporate personhood, the legal theory that artificial persons are entitled to constitutional human rights. We believe that until this root cause is dismantled by constitutional amendment, Corporations wielding human rights will remain an internal threat to our democracy and rule by the people. So, we created Move to Amend to undo Citizens United by constitutional amendment to establish two things. One, that the rights protected by the U.S. Constitution are the rights of humans only, natural persons. And two, that money is not protected free speech under the First Amendment. Both changes are necessary to safeguard free and fair elections in our democracy. This is a bold vision, and it's one of the reasons why I support Move to Amend. Many D.C. Beltway organizations are calling for half measures to regulate campaign financing only. If that is all they believe they can achieve, then that is all they may get. But it won't solve the core problem that endangers our democracy. Such thinking lacks vision, imagination, and courage. Once while speaking at a law school, the professor blurted out, do you know what the probability of passing a constitutional amendment is? It is very low. I replied that we are dealing in possibilities, not probabilities, and the possibility of passing an amendment is very real. Possibility and probability converge when people lead. Move to amend leads. It leads with a clear vision and a practical strategy that engages organizations and people by connecting what they most care about to the most upstream problem that threatens it, oppression from corporate rule. Let's face it. How can we fix any single issue, whether it's food and water security, immigration, prison reform, homelessness, public health, 5G, the climate crisis, anything, until we fix our democracy crisis? A sustainable, just, and fair future will elude us until we dismantle corporate personality. Once a person asked if I thought Move to Amend could do it, could carry through with, it, with its We the People Amendment. I think that only Move to Amend can do it because only Move to Amend is simultaneously fostering anti-oppression awareness and training to build the solidarity of purpose and peoples necessary to sustain this movement, to do it. We all know what democracy looks like, sounds like, feels like, the democracy our country practices is a far cry from what most of us hold in our hearts as real. Ultimately, move to amend success depends on you. People make movements happen. That is why I support move to amend with funding and with my time and energy. I'm inviting you to support move to amend in all the ways you are able. Financial donations are always welcome. You can also hold your candidates and elected officials accountable in federal, state, and local governments with the pledge to amend. Go to the Move to Amend website for other impactful ideas to push through systemic constitutional change. This is what is needed now. 
Democracies fail when the people get complacent. It is up to us to fix this. Let's do it through Move to Amend. In solidarity.